Welcome back to sports, everyone. I'm Chaz Messman. The SEC is known for having the most physical teams in college football, but on Saturday, Arizona State and their star running back had other thoughts. Arizona State has won 594 games in school history, but none has come against an SEC opponent until tonight when the Sun Devils made history by pounding the rock and bullying the Mississippi State Bulldogs in the trenches. From the opening snap, ASU put an emphasis on feeding the ball to running back Cam Scadaboo in any way that they could. Later in the drive, freshman quarterback Sam Levitt fakes the handoff. Now he's forced to take off towards the far side of the field. Levitt diving for the pylon, and he is in for the touchdown. ASU takes an early lead as Levitt has his team and the Sun Devil faithful fired up. Second quarter, Devils on top 13-3. to Mississippi State quarterback Blake Shapin under pressure. Down he goes, and the ball is free. It's scooped up by C.J. Fight, and he is going to score. ASU's defense for the second consecutive week hits pay dirt, and the Sun Devils are rolling in this one. Then right before the half, ASU would march right down the field with Sam Levitt punching it in on the quarterback sneak. ASU takes a 27-3 lead at the half, and they would eventually lead 30-3 in the third. Then the Bulldog offense started to get going. Mississippi State scored three straight touchdowns, capped off by an 80-yard touchdown pass from Shapin to Kevin Coleman, which made it a one-possession game in the fourth quarter. But ASU had number four. Scadaboo put the Sun Devils on his back as they ran out the clock and capped off a 30-23 victory to move to 2-0. An all-time performance from Scadaboo as he finished with an astounding 262 rushing yards, averaging almost eight yards a carry. That's the most fun I've had in a football game in a long time. Bullying dudes, grown men that are 300 pounds, that's fun to us. That's fun to the front five, the front seven, and, and a running back. Sit there and tell him all game, give me the ball. Every every play, give me the ball. If he has an option to throw it, give me the ball. I really challenged him after last year, and I said, listen, if you want to play on Sundays, every back but one of mine since I've been a coordinator uh, has played on Sundays. And I said, right now, you're not one. If you want to be one, you're going to drop weight, right? You're going to get in better shape. You're going to be faster. You're, you're going to control your passion, and you're going to channel it. And he's done everything I've asked him. So right now... That looked like a Sunday player. The Sun Devils did have a lull in the second half and allowed the Bulldogs to get back in the game. But Dillingham believes that having to grind out the result will pay off in the long run. For us to get hit back in the mouth and they have to get up, that's what I was proud of. And we got up with a vengeance and we needed that because we're not going to have 17, 24 point leads every halftime, right? We're going to be in some dog fights and we got to be able to go back and forth with counter punches. And I think today we finally had to punch back. Tonight, the Devils celebrate, but tomorrow it's right back to work for Kenny Dillingham's team because it's a short week as the Sun Devils are set to face Texas State on the road this upcoming Thursday. From Mountain America Stadium, Chaz Messman, KYMA Sports. That was a fun one for sure. Now we head to the volleyball court where the 9-1 Brawley Wildcats look to continue their hot start against the 0-4 Cibola Raiders. Early in the first, Braley Stubbs set for Jada Bosch who finds some open space cross court for the kill as Cibola takes their first lead. But Brawley would settle in quickly in this match. And then after a mistake from Cibola, some quick thinking at the net by Grace Walker makes it 15-9 Cats. And they would work it to set point where Brianna Rebelar would set it up for Demi Vogel, who ices that first set for Brawley. So Bolo started the second half well, led by Mariana Vega, who blows this one by the Wildcats for the point. But that stretch would not last, with Destiny Perez setting for Rebelar, who launches a rocket into the corner for the kill. Brawley takes the second and third set by some margin, and they complete the sweep and win their 10th match of the year. Now over to Burger Field where the Hopeville Vikings coming into the matchup at 1 in 5. Meanwhile, the Lady Eagles on the other side entering at 1 in 3. Starting on the first half, first drive for Southwest number 23 back to throw and she's going to heave this one up and how about the catch right there bobbled by number 5, but she comes down with it nonetheless. That's a touchdown, extra point no good, it's 6-0. Following drive for the Vikings, a little quick run play, and that's gonna be a first down after number two cuts it back towards the middle for a gain of about 10 yards. The drive would stall. Southwest with, the, with it now a bit later, 
Here we go after the fake handoff. Another big throw from number 23. She's going to launch this one downfield. And that's going to be a catch by number 16 for a gain of about 25 yards. This drive would stall anyway. Defensive battle for both sides in this one. But Southwest comes away with it. They win 12 to nothing. And that is all we have time for in sports.